Hello children, welcome to Eternal AZ Education. In this session, you are going to learn chapter 9, concept set. Here, you are going to learn how to create a set. What are the set operations available? What is a set? In Python, a set is another type of collection of data type. A set is mutable and an unordered collection of elements without duplicates. You underline the word. A set is a mutable and an unordered collection of elements without duplicates. That means the elements within a set cannot be repeated. This feature used to include membership testing and eliminating duplicate elements. How to create a set? A set is created by placing all the elements separated by comma within a pair of curly brackets. Curly brackets. The set function can also be used to create sets in Python. So let's see. Set variable, user defined variable, equal. Within the curly brace, all the elements are given. Can you see the example here? 1, 2, 3, A is here, 3.14. So it's a collection of different data type. List is enclosed within square bracket, tubules is enclosed within parenthesis, and set is enclosed within curly brace. So they are asking to print S1. It is printing the value. Next, S2. It's printed the value. When you print the elements from a set, Python shows the values in different order. We'll check this. A list or tubule can be converted as set by using set function. This is very simple procedure. First, you have to create a list or tubule, then substitute its variable within set function as argument. See the list, my list, as it is within square bracket, it is a list, then my set equal to set of my list. Now it has become a set. See this example. S1 within curly brace, set of values are given. S2 within curly brace, set of values are given. Can you see that? There is no separation of comma. So it is saying the error. I commented many programs with so saying error. So, two set of values. One is set 1, that is S1. 1, 2, 3, A, 3.14. But it is not necessary to print the uh, values in the given order. So, it is unordered. Next, here also unordered. But no repeated things are given. So we'll check with repeated things. Uh, think like there is another 14, another 20, here also another 3. We can assign, but while taking for the manipulation, it will avoid the duplicate values. And able to see here, even though we added duplicate values, while printing it, it is giving only the only the elements, not the repeated values. And it won't be in a order. So, is it clear, children? List is a collection of different values. Tubules, also a collection of different values. But list is within square bracket. Tubules is within parenthesis. Set is within curly brace. Set will not allow duplicate values. 
Next one is how to convert a list to set. So list one, we can have a value. Then it is a list. See the example, list one, we are given four values. Then we are asking to print the list. Then I am asking to print the type. That means this function will show the data type of the object. That is data type of list one variable. Then I am changing the list to set using the function set. Is it clear children? Then I am asking to print the value and asking to print the type of we will ask to print the type of not list one, my set, because my set is the set data type now. See here, 7, 8, 9, 10. First, we are asking to print the list. So, it is class list. Next, we are changing the type and asking to print my set. Can you see it is in the curly brace and the type is set. So this is the procedure to convert the list into set using a function set. Is it clear? I want to tell you one more point. In the list, we can have duplicate values. Am I right? But while converting the list to the set, the duplicate values are avoided. Can you see here? First one is the print list one. So all the elements are printed. Then the type is list. Next we are converting the list to the type of set. Here only the uh, only the single elements are given, not the duplicate values. Is it clear, children? So we can create a set using curly brace directly to a variable, and also we can convert a list to a set using the function set. Is it clear? Now, set operation. It is very interesting and important also. Um, it will it will be asked in a five mark frequently. So, union, intersection, difference, symmetric difference. What is union? It includes all elements from two or more sets. In Python, the operator, that is the R operator, single pipeline, is used to union of or union of two sets. The function union is also used to join two sets in Python. So what will happen? There is a set value, another set, set A and set B. So union will combine all the elements, even though while combining, it will avoid the duplicate values. Here is the example. For you, for you using or to join two set, we can use the pipeline as well as the function union. We'll see in the example. See here, set underscore A is having two, four, six, eight. Set underscore B is having A, B, C, D. Then here I commented the. Um, pipeline symbol. First, we'll see the output of the function union. Both are going to give the same output. So, set of A dot union set of B. Then we are asking to print the set U underscore set because this variable is holding the uh, values of A and B as together. So, see the output. So, all the elements 2, 4, 6, 8 and A, B, C, D. Both the sets are combined. What will happen if there is a duplicate value? It will avoid it. Is it clear? Here there are two twos, but here only one, two. One element of two. Same output is going to come for the pipeline. We can use the symbol or the function. It depends upon our need. So is it clear children?
pipeline or union used to join the elements of two set. Next one is difference. What is the meaning of difference? It includes the comb. Here it is intersection. So we see first intersection. It includes the common elements in two sets. A and B. That means it will see only the intersection. Common elements of set A and set B. So for this we can use the and symbol and the function intersection. A, 2, 4, D. A, B, C, D. So what are the common elements? A is here. 2 is not here, 4 is not here, D is here. So, A and D are the common elements. So, common elements are printed. See here, first we have seen the union. Next we are going to see the intersection. So, A, 2, 4, 6, 8, D, A, B, C, D. So, only the common element is D here. Yes, so D is printed. So, we can use unsymbol or the intersection function to find the common elements of set. Next one is difference. It includes all elements that are in the first set A but not in the set B. It will take only these elements. In from the set of A, it will ignore the common elements which is in the set B. So, A is here 2 is not here, 4 is not here, D is here. So, 2, 4. For this, we can use minus symbol or the difference function. So, see the different function. A, 2, 4, 6, 8, A, B, C, D. So, what is the common thing? Common thing is not here. Both are different. So, we will add a common thing. So, here A is common. Am I right? So, if the question is set of A minus set of B. So, Elements of A is printed, but not the common thing because 2, 4, 6, 8 are printed. A is not printed. Think like if the question, uh, if we change this as shift of B, that is set B minus of set A. Now, what will be the output means? It will print all the elements in set B except the common element. That means a will not come. B, C, D has to come. Is it clear? So, difference can be used with A and B. So, we have to decide whether we want set A different value or set B different value. Is it clear children? It will be very interesting and easy to score marks. So, next one is symmetric difference. What is it? It includes all the elements that are in two sets but not the one that are common. That means it will give A and B not the intersection point. For that, we can use this operator char or the function symmetric difference. See here, A is common, D is common. So, 2, 4, B, C. These are these things are printed. So, in the third part, it is uh, set A and it is set B. We are asking to print symmetric underscore difference. So, what it has to print 
it has to leave the common element and it has to print what are the things in A and B. So here 2, 4, 6, 8 are in set A. Here A, B, C are in set B. So the common thing is A, D. So the element D should not come. So first one is intersection. So the common thing is D. So that element is printed. Next one is set B difference of A. So it is printing elements present in set of B except the common element. Next one is symmetric difference. That means it, it should not print the common value. So common value is D. D is not printed. It is printing all other elements. Is it easy children? Actually set is an interesting and easy concept. Hope you have understood this. Recap. So union, it will combine all the elements. For this, I can use a pipeline symbol or a union function. Intersection, it will give only the common elements. For that, we have to use unsymbol or intersection function. Difference, it, for this, we have to use minus symbol or the function difference. It will give the element in A not the common thing or the element in B not the common thing that is difference. Symmetric means it has to print all the elements except common element. For that we have, can use the cal symbol or the symmetric difference. Thank you. Have a good day.